Uh, well, alrighty, my friends, uh, let's now continue with Game of Thrones. I suspect a restart. Yeah, we. This is where we finished, and it's coming soon. So obviously, yeah. As always, um, won't talk much. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in the council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. Lord Thro. That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. A lot of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't a lady, ain't a Glenmore. Oh. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. Bitch. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume... To speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. <laughs> I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... and we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. 
We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burn till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Out with it. What happened? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think... can't watch a man die and just... I decide what justice is. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Frostfinger! What's to be done with him? We're heading to Craston. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crestus. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrett. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Crestus. How is this? Any different. Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man. Keep your eyes open. Now let's move. Go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my time. Are you calling me a liar? You know nothing about me. You're right. I don't know you. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. 
Not a good idea, Ashley. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. She won't bite. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Then you were wise to keep your distance. You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. I have this. Drogon, how did you get that? What have you done to him? If you hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked Dor. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whomever he likes. The men who were following him, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army, but what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left? After the liberation, once the slaves are free. Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself... You have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. But that's but it! Your Grace! See them out. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asha? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time, on the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons, guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Asha, please. We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. I told you I didn't want to go back to Marine. What the hell was that? What's the problem with you and Marine, anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Beska. Get your armor packs up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been.
long time since you had a piss pocket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Dale! We got two more. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knee. Wait for me to attack. Oh, fuck. Roderick. Let's try it again. Almost. What the fuck almost? I did again. the right thing. Ah. Okay. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> Did you let me? Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Godric, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I, I didn't know if I would see you again. Given how we left things. That... that doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lord threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Your father acted a damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Then you have to defy your father. I intend to. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his arm. He's protected by a garrison of his own salt. We have a way around that. Whoa. You brought your men. I command father's elite guard. 
These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours, if you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. White will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I'll do it. It really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. Thank you, Roderick. I knew you'd come through for us. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Griff. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? So I'm not sure this is a good idea, actually. You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. She'll refuse. No? Hmm. Okay, we will kill this grief. Uh, fuck Ryan, to be honest. I really don't, don't give a damn about him right now. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Blood Whitehill. Blood Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, if you need Sarah to get you in there, you might as well try, right? It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Storeroom until morning. Is that the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Or you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway.
Okay. Oh, why no ways? Probably covered with flies. Just sand. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Well, this one looks loose. Garrett! Otter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. I owe you for this. If we make it out alive, I'll... Well, now that you mention it... What? I want to go with you, Garrett. To the North Grove. Okay. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it'll work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a new stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. It's not moving though. I keep trying. Let me see what I can do. That well, might be useful. doing getting out of here I can see it. it it's coming loose I'm gonna try to push it out you pull all right fit through I think You two idiots, lucky I'm not frostfinger. Thought 
you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it, Finn? It's not safe to be seen with them. Then good thing I brought this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Postfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with Potato Fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Oaths don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? Than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. I'll need every one of them for what I'm about to do. I'll have them here as soon as possible. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane and point to any dead. We'll be ready. Still kinda don't like it. It's too good to be true in the universe of Game of Thrones. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. Yay. I wonder where are Griff's soldiers. He isn't alone here, after all. Obey his new master. And while you're at it, 
Elaine and Glenmore? What are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. I'd rather marry a dead whore. You watch your bloody tongue. Or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? Let the maester go, Grim. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient. Just like you were, Roderick. <laughs> Before I brought him to heel. So now he's paying the price. Taught you proper, Roderick. You are not the man in charge now. I am. You know what I think. My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Go ahead. Come at me, Grim. My fucking pleasure. <laughs> I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the look. What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Come on, defend your lord! Kill anyone that moves! You heard him! Stop down! You can't do this! Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton! And your sister and your fucking family! Shut your bloody mouth, Grim! You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? You need to stop. My eyes! Roderick, listen! I can't... I can't fucking see. You can find the white hill. To the cellars. No one gets in or out. I can't see. I can't see anything. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the ravens. All of them. Yeah, that's kind of good idea. But we also need to find the traitor in our small council. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders and getting pissed drunk before a mission. Okay. You know what kind of shit brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man. Let go of me before I break your jaws. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Cross. This is bloody important. Are you afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. Mind your own business, Croft. 
You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Fester, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> Whoa. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? You're the only reason I'm even fucking here. If you told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Vesta. We're done talking. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, he'd be dead. Do you want to help? Come on! I'm not going to do that! with Marine, you have to get over it. Get over it? I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to leave. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Here. Thank you, little brother. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dizor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on, you've had enough. Let me say that. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important?
I have some business to take care of. That's all you need to know. Some business? Just trust me. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. You're on your own. This is important, Sarah. Important enough to get us both sent home. I have to do this. <sighs> Fine. But you owe me, understand? She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? <laughs> You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. She gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Look. Stop it. What? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? I have to take care of a personal matter. Oh, well, don't let us stop you then. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You've told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! And that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Oh my god, why is it laggy? Seems so calm out there. Oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was. 
was it bad? Mm, close. A cop. That's it. <laughs> no, that's terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? It is a lot, but I know how to spin it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one who's willing to work with him. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Ah no, don't don't drink wine here. Yeah. Okay, no point in talking to this guy and to that guy to be honest. Oh please, if you'll excuse me. Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I've heard you stopped selling iron wedges. Not on my account, I hope. How did you? So it's true. It appears that you know most of the story already. I have been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin, but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> oh, leave him alone. Please excuse me. Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you talking to Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira's interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. I was wondering what you could tell me about Lyman Lannister. Lyman? Really, that story is not appropriate for present company. That joke's getting a bit tired, don't you think? I wouldn't want you to think ill of someone you've never met. Don't be angry. Perhaps later, then. Perhaps another time. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. Well, right. I recognize that wine. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Ah. Shit. You startled me. 
as if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. And I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... Well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Uh oh, <laughs> fucking hide. Quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? A man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you, you're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take it. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisford. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well, now you know, too. And you're helping him. Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't... You bloody traitor. You promised me, then you told everyone? Uh oh What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. You've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. Okay, it went actually very good, surprisingly. <sighs> you sure you know where you're going, Potter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? You haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How was the food? Well, this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. I will have to stop soon. Look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. My what? It's a fucking wildling, Cotter. They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? 
She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. We don't think. No, I'm I, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardmore. You know it. I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm. Oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to no. me. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen, I don't want to fight. He'll be all right, won't he? Wow. Well, what is it going to be? Death by snow snow? the last of our supplies. We can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. I thought I'd feel better, seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. I wish I had killed him. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the Rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. 
Maybe this is an opportunity, a way to get behind their wall. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? And his son for my brother. Nah, it's my bad trade. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small folk soldiers. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. So oh, maybe it was a bad decision. I need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But if we're going to an enemy stronghold, maybe you'd best take Sir Royland. It's meant to be a negotiation, not a battle. It's Roderick who must decide. Who would you rather have by your side? Sir Royland comes with us. Duncan can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. I kind of don't trust Roger, Duncan. I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. Talia, you'll be the only forester at Ironrath while we're gone. I need you to rule in my stead. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. Ethan rose to this task, and so will you. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. You're my family too, Mum. And I couldn't be prouder of you. Good luck, my boy. Shall we begin? Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Darren, you take the north. Hey, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kieran will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man you remember when you stole that giant war hammer? Get in, do what that you woman have to do, leaves? and get your people Didn't out she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my head could feel anymore. You got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. <sighs> what does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, 
Not by you. How could I possibly refuse you? You would be wise not to. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. I hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Avoids the main street. Let's just get this over with. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You ask me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. Can you see anyone? recently. doing hey, Fesco Fesco We have to go. There's something I have to do. Fesco, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this. Just tell me. Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Fesca! Where are you going? Follow her! Can you help? 
out the villain. For help. For help. In it, Rasmule. Se was was me on me. Why are you doing this? Ten years ago. Now I should have killed you. I should have fucking killed you. He was my master. The man who forced me to. I'm going to kill you. That is a mercy compared to what you deserve. After what you did to me, to those other children. Nobody can blame you for wanting him dead. Do what you must. I will. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away. <laughs> I am not your Let him go! Oh, what are you doing? I shoot! You will do as I say! Both of you, take her weapon! I need to do this, Asha. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen that has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get her justice. I won't let you ruin it for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. Let go of me. I'm doing this, Asha. Take your hands off me. Please, for me. I've done all of this for you. I came here for you. We might just make it out of this alive yet. She's just getting started. So when were you going to tell me he's a fucking wildling? Not now, Finn. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. You can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. Ah. I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here, let me take a look at it. Ha! How bad is it? I might have something that'll help. Just hurry up! Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ah, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Hold that there. You're almost done. Oh, God. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, maester. Oh. Oh, God. You got anything to drink? This far north, and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something. Please. I'll see what I can find.
still don't trust him, you know. I know. He nearly got us all killed. Ah, maybe that's what he wanted to happen. Why else would he bring us here? Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. It's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. A uh, moment. Okay. Someone's still living here. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! You want to kill it yourself, or should I do it? Gary! Drop your weapon! Is that... Gary! Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Sylvie. You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. <laughs> right. You planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... <laughs> this... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Lord Roderick, Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. Am I in danger here? My father honors guest right, just as you do. And I'm supposed to trust my life to that. I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Grid. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. Tread carefully today. There are lords who wield power, and lords who like to make a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. 
The abbot's at the citadel. Torin serves for his boatman. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. Well, that's pretty expected. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. I'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. All right. I don't know what Lug's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Whatever happens, just follow my lead. I will. You have my word. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. Not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? You kept us waiting, Lord. What can I say? I lost track of time. Can we just get on with this? Stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is. Compared to your pile of timber. Lud, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast. To family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? To family. To, to fam family. family.
Now, as lovely as this is, I presume we have business to discuss. Indeed we do. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roose Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. In other words, you can't make the weapons yourselves. House Whitehill never did master the craft. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Wouldn't be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. As if he protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threaten I'm us. I'm not threatening. I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with. Just give him time. I told you. I offer you peace. You spit at it. I offer opportunity. And you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to make it. Slaughtering your small folk. Maybe you'll even make you watch. Too bad your son is oh, for fuck's sake. What are you talking about? We've taken Griff hostage, along with every soldier in your foul garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? I'll gladly return if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. <laughs> Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their iron wood. Now go. It's been a pleasure. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Iron from ice! Damn it. 
Beast Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. We'll need to take those two out first. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. Come on, let's get moving. Let's go. Hmm. It's nothing. Just forget it. I know Dazor didn't go the way you wanted, but now is not the time for regret. You knew what it meant to me, Asher, and you were. <sighs> it's done now. Take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Then prove it. What have you heard? We just sit outside the gates waiting. <laughs> Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she won't do it. Not unless she's a fool. Miri. <laughs> We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? You just make sure you clear the way. I think Croft got the easy job.
I'll get rid of them. All clear down there? Hey, you listening to me? We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. Fuck. Hey, get this. Oh, shit. Light the big gun. Stop him. Well, hello. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, no. Got it, got it. You're whimpering. I'm not dead yet. Hear that? It's starting.
home at last. Back at High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. We'll celebrate once Ryan has returned safely. You still need to make the trade. You're right, of course. Still, you did well today. Don't lose sight of that. My lord, look. Where are the gods? Dahlia? Duncan? Where are the Glenmores? Where's anybody? Wait here. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so silly. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Oh, maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I... I didn't mean to... That's a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? I won't. I want you to sing, Talia. Go on. Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. State your business now. I thought you'd have more courtesy. Especially after getting to know your sister. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Tyler? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been lovely. And you. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. You claim to be a leader, yet your own people do not respect you. But we did as you commanded. These aren't cell swords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you were your brother in the whole time. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might hurt his heart. That you're not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrett. Shh. Okay, majority brought final level at logical main grief. Well, that's a good thing to do, yeah. Hmm, strange. All right.
Uh, no, thank you. Uh, so, my friends, uh, this is it with episode uh, 4 of Game of Thrones. So, here it is. Thanks for watching.